Hi friends. Um, it is not Thursday at 4 p.m. It is Friday, um, September 18th. <clears throat> Sorry. It is Friday, September 18th. And let's see if I can do this. Um, I was trying like do, I don't know what I just did. Um, it is Friday, September 18th. And it is, I don't know what time it is. It's a little after two. Definitely not our Thursday normal time. Um, and I didn't do getting tipsy yesterday. As we all know, life sometimes gets in the way. And, um, and I had a closing yesterday and we had the walkthrough. Uh, and I typically don't do the walkthrough immediately prior to the closing because you never know what's gonna happen, right? I mean, you would love for everything to be perfect, um, but nothing can ever be perfect. And I did know that the um, buyers were, I mean, the sellers were moving back to back, by selling and buying back to back, and they were gonna be moving out immediately prior. Found out that they were still gonna be moving out some stuff that morning and that the cleaners were gonna be coming that morning. So we decided to do the walkthrough at two with the closing at three. Um, especially also because my client's schedule after 9 a.m. she wasn't able to do it until two. Um, so we got there at two. The cleaner was still there cleaning but so was a lot of their stuff. Um, their closet, their master bedroom closet was still full of all their clothes. There was still stuff in the living room. Um, there's still stuff in the dining room. There's still stuff in the kitchen. There's still stuff on the back deck. Um, so, you've got a couple options in that situation. You could either not close, um, or what we ended up doing was a rent back agreement. Um, so basically they paid us for another day to live, to have possession for another day, um, even though we went ahead and closed so that they had the funds to purchase their next property. Um, there's some liability, like they, so my tenants became landlords for a day. Um, and there's some liabilities that come with it. If you have questions, we can talk about those. Um, but there's also liabilities that come with closing when someone else has their own property in your house. So anyway, that kind of caused some snafus. So I did not get to tip, get tipsy yesterday at 4 p.m. Um, so I apologize, but here we are today, um, a little late and that's fine. Um, today's topic on getting tipsy is how to prep your home for listing photos. Um, so here we are. Um, according to the National Association of Realtors, which we call NAR or NAR, 93% uh, of buyers are first seeing your home online. I feel like that stat is probably a little outdated. Um, it's probably increased since COVID because real estate's really gone virtual. We're doing virtual open houses. I've actually sold a couple houses through virtual open houses. Um, and it is a lot more online even now, more so. But 93% of buyers are first seeing your home online. That means the quality of your home phone photos is critical. One way I help my clients achieve this is through the use of a professional photographer, non-negotiable. I, when I first started selling real estate, um, I partnered with my mom and she used a professional photographer. I was a black and white minor, black and white photography minor in college. So I know a lot about photography, composition, and um, stuff like that. And so I, I kept saying to her, like, why are, you, why are you paying someone? I could do this for you for free and I can edit the photos and blah, blah, blah. So I started doing our photos um, and taking them myself. And they were fine 10 years ago, eight years ago. Um, but today's standards, it's not okay anymore. Um, so I do, it's non-negotiable. We have professional photographer, even though I can take some good photos, we use a professional real estate photographer to take our photos. Done. 
you can tell the difference between someone that does and doesn't. Um, and the houses that do and that have had the home prepared properly are the ones that sell and they sell quickly because people come to the house because it's sold online basically. You've brought them to the house through the photos. So before those photos are snapped, your house has to be prepared and ready. Um, today, I'm gonna go through a couple of the items that are on my checklist I share with sellers to prepare them for listing photos. Um, also, I should say, there, there's all sorts of listing photos you can do. I actually, um, we're listing something in a couple weeks. It's a pretty big listing. Um, and because of it, we are, we're doing some major photography on it. So we have regular photos. We're doing an eye guide, um, which is a, a video walkthrough, a 3D video walkthrough of, which includes some photos um, and plans out, does a floor plan of it. Um, and then we're doing aerial photography because it is on the water. Um, and then it, we're also doing twilight photos. Um, which shows the night, um, you know, shows it in the evening with the lights and the sunset and all that kind of stuff. So there are a lot of different options you can do with photos. Um, so just be aware of that. But um, so sneak peek at my checklist. If you want um, to know my full list, contact me and we can talk about that. Um, but one of the things, open all your blinds and curtains. <clears throat> open them all, let in the natural light. Um, you want that natural light coming in. Clear off your countertops, um, small appliances, mail, stacks of paper. Oh, like, yeah, get rid of it. Um, cords, any clutter. You don't wanna leave it completely bare. Um, you want your house to say welcome, uh, but you don't want it to say we obviously live here. Now, that house that I was telling you about, I went through it on Tuesday with the owner. Um, we went through room by room. Um, so I'm gonna give you some examples, actually, as we're talking about this, of things we cleared off versus didn't clear off. So like on next to the stove, or next to the range, um, we, kept, um, we kept the knife block, but we got rid of like the um, I don't know, she had like a little salt and pepper thing and just random, like a spoon and um, a big old thing of um, utensils, cooking utensils. I don't cook, so I can't, couldn't think of what they're called. And then like over on the other side of the counter, um, the other side of the kitchen, there's a huge counter, not a huge counter, but there's a counter and then there's a desk area, like a in the kitchen office area. Um, so we put away, she had like a bunch, she had stacks of paper from the desk area, put those into the cabinets. Um, she had some cords, you know, just plugged in. We put those into the cabinets. But we did leave like a, a vase out with flowers. Um, we left a, she has, she has a thing that holds tissues, so it's not just like a box of tissues sitting there, but it was a, a nice thing that holds the tissues. Um, but everything, we cleared off everything else. Of, there were some frames of personal photos. We took those away. Um, fluff your couch pillows. Have them sitting up, not sitting down. Don't have it look like someone just was laying on the couch right before. Um, you want them up, fluffed, organized nicely. You can do the chop if you want. If you don't know what I mean by the couch chop or the pillow chop, I'm sure you can Google it. Um, or you can ask me and I'll show you a video. Turn on every every lamp and every light under the counter lights turn on your the light under your microwave above your range um everything if you have like a little lamp in the bathroom that's just decorative turn on anything that will give you light turn it on that's very important and i know it may sound you might be like what turn it on um clear off your dressers your nightstands your tables your, um, in your in your bathroom, your vanity, clear that stuff off. You only want, in your, in your shower, like all your product, clear it off. You only want to leave a few small accessories, like a lamp, maybe a small tray, um, 
a book or two, just a couple little things. You don't want all the stuff. Um, in your shower, just clear it up. And actually, because you're gonna list the house, and this is what I told her to do, in their shower, get just like a shower caddy, put all the stuff in the shower caddy, take it and store it away for the photos. Then you can have that in the shower. Um, and then when a showing's coming, throw that all into the shower caddy and then put it away for the showing too. Um, and I know that sounds like, you're like, wait, I have to live here. But you do have to live there, but people don't wanna see all your product, sorry. Uh, bring symmetry into your bedroom with lamps anchoring both sides of the bed. Um, you might want to add some type of hint of greenery. Uh, that might not be your thing normally, but it does make people feel very comfortable. So maybe it's a succulent or a large, um, just like a large leaf. If you have any of those plants that have the large leaves, I don't know a lot about um, plants. We'll talk to Plant Bar and I'll find out what the name of the plant is but like one of those large leaves from the yard, they'll stay alive for a long time. But just one of those, put it in a vase. They look really beautiful. Um, hi, Angela, how are you? And then um, also a neutral duvet cover. Um, white duvet covers are always just crisp and clean and lovely. You get a light tan, you know, like a light beige or something as well. You don't want anything that's crazy color, you don't want anything dark, just something neutral, calming, welcoming. You don't need um, high Wayne. You don't need, you know, Paw Patrol. Um, replace your family photos with artwork. They, you don't want your family photos everywhere. A, because these are gonna go on the internet um, and they're gonna be attached to the house and they're gonna be all over the place. So you don't need those up. You also don't want them up for the listing either for showings because then people get distracted and they're looking at who lives here as opposed to looking at the house. And how do I know that person? And did I go to school with that person? Or did I work with that person? Or did I see that person at the grocery store as opposed to looking at the house? Um, if you are not comfortable taking the pictures down, then you can go online, you can look at Minted, you can look at Etsy, you can really just look online and print some downloadable pictures that will fit in those frames and just cover up your family photo for now. Um, think like botanicals, landscape scenes, um, interiors, just anything just kind of basic. Um, again, neutral, it can match whatever your decor is, but not your family photo. Uh, any bright walls you have, paint them a natural shade. So, um, like this isn't bad. I mean, my office is like a robin egg blue. That's not a bright color. But I, my mom still loves to say this. When I lived in New Jersey, I painted my condo. Let me preface this. Again, I was a black and white photography major, minor. Um, and I had some really beautiful black and whites and I needed light into this condo because of, there wasn't a lot of natural light. And I really wanted to highlight some of my photos. So I, I painted the condo yellow and the color of the yellow was nacho cheese. Um, and I thought that that was really gonna make these black and whites pop. Mm -hmm. So if your, if your house is nacho cheese, you might wanna take it down to like agreeable gray. Um, or, you know, dove white or something, <laughs> lovely. Um, so go to the, a neutral shade. Uh, remove any super kid style decor. Again, you don't need Paw Patrol. Um, you don't need, you know, Superman on the wall. Um, you don't need your kid's name displayed all over the wall. Um, if, you, if you can take it down, take it down. Hide your garbage cans inside and out. Um, and I was telling, as I was walking through this house with this person, and it's a, it's a large home, but I said, we're gonna have to grab these garbage cans and stick them in the closet. And she goes, why do you stick garbage cans in the closet? No one wants to see your garbage. We don't wanna see the inside of your toilet. We don't wanna see your garbage. We all know we have it, but you don't wanna see someone else's. <laughs> Sorry. 
Um, so hide the garbage cans for the photos. Again, in for showings, your garbage cans can be out. You don't want them full, overflowing with stuff. You don't want anything nasty on top of them. Um, clear your driveway, uh, including the vehicles. For the photos, you don't want your vehicles in the photos, especially because, again, these go on the internet and they attach to your address and your license plates are in the photos. So it's your car make, your license plate, and your address are all there. Get your vehicles out of the driveway. Get your garbage cans out of the driveway, hide them around the corner, get them across the street, ask your neighbor if you can put them in their driveway for a second, get them away. Refresh your landscaping. Um, pull any weeds, water your flowers, fill in any bare spots. I always tell my clients to put down fresh mulch, like literally within 48 hours of the photos. You want it to look new and crisp and just pretty. Um, store all of your charging cords and your cables. You don't want like the cords hanging. At, I have a thing with cords, um, but you don't want them hanging across the counter. You don't want them laying out anywhere. You don't want people tripping over them or anything. You just don't want people to see them. Again, we all know we have them. You don't want to see them. Um, and also with that, you can use baskets and storage containers, not only for those, but you can use them for anything. Um, we were, as we were going through this house, they have a full bathroom downstairs um, that they call the beach bathroom. Um, when they come off the boat and they come in this side door, um, there's like a laundry area and then this full bathroom with a shower so people can kind of drop their boating clothes and jump in the shower and rinse off or whatever. And they have these built-ins and they've got some towels and then they've got just random, um, you know, shampoos and soaps and whatever that people can just grab. And then they've got like a couple of rolls of toilet paper and whatever. And that's fine because that's how they live. Hi, Janine. Um, and it's just cat, I mean, they're very casual people, as beautiful as this home is. They're very casual, the home is very livable, um, but you don't wanna see it. So I was like, just get some bins and stick all the stuff in the bins, and then you see bins instead of random stuff. Um, what else? Turn off all your TVs and your computer screens. During the listing, or during showings, I know a lot of people like to have the television on playing music or whatever, and that's fine. During the photos, that picture can cause some um, distortion with the lighting in the room. A lot of times it'll do like the, the weird, you know, the jagged line thingy. Um, you just don't want to distract. Just turn it off. Let it be dark. And then close your garage doors. Nobody wants to see the inside of your garage. Close the garage doors. Just make the pretty, you know, the front of your house look pretty. Um, so if you would like to see the entire list, um, comment below, send me a DM. I'm happy to talk to you. Um, I'm happy to give you some examples of like, here's some good photography, you know, here's some houses that were set up well, and here's some houses that were not. Um, again, you have to get them to your house in order to sell your house. So you want your house to be prepared for the listing photos because that's how you're gonna get them to your house. So thanks again for turning, tuning in to yesterday's episode today. Thank you for your patience. Um, if you have any questions about what I was talking about, about rent back agreements, about crazy things that happen at walkthroughs or at closings, I'm thinking about starting a whole series on that. Um, on the crazy things that happen in a transaction because crazy things happen. Um, let me know and I'm happy to share. Uh, and if you have any questions about anything, just let me know. Have a great, today's Friday. Have a great Friday. Have a great rest of your weekend and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.